everybody, my name is Laura. Welcome back to Larvik Gaming. We're back continuing with Titan Quest. This old man, he played one, he played knickknack on my thumb. On my thumb. Anyway, uh, so he told us to go into the ice caves and on the other side we'll see a surprise. Oh hey, a river fountain that I was just saying didn't exist. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna just carry on from that. So down here should be the Yeti that uh, the dude back in the village was telling us about. But as I recall, the Yeti boss is even harder than the Neanderthal boss was, and I had a lot more trouble than I'm used to with that Neanderthal boss, so... Really not looking forward to this Yeti boss. Ooh, a green gin. A corpulent gin. I am appreciative of many things, but that is not one of them. Okay, just make sure I've got everything on this level. Cool. Down we go. I'm going to endeavor to pronounce the names throughout this act as close to accurately as I can figure, which may end up being incorrect because, again, I I have not been working on learning Mandarin for very long. Whoa. And unfortunately, I still can't... We still haven't been able to work it into the budget or the schedule to be able to actually go to the Chinese Cultural Center in the city and do uh, proper lessons with an actual instructor. So right now, we're just kind of working off of instructional like videos and books that we have an app on our phones that's it's really good it's very good at teaching I've, I've learned a lot from it but again it's it's difficult to be sure of it's one thing to learn how to recognize characters and what they mean it's another thing to actually be able to say things correctly and get the pronunciations just right and with and yes the app will like you you, know, you can listen to what it's how it's reading it and try and say it back it's one thing to have that it's a, it's very different and to actually have a real person there who can correct you um and confirm whether you're saying it right it's it's and i really want to do that so anyway i'm going to try my best to pronounce things correctly i probably i might mix some up and screw things up and if i do i apologize i am just, just let me know if i'm saying something wrong because i i really it is really is a beautiful language i don't want to butcher it and i really do want to learn how to say it properly so i'm gonna do my best based on the limited knowledge that i have Ooh, oh this is the yeti this this is the gargantuan yeti okay okay we found our friend here he froze me he froze all of us that's unfortunate oh no i didn't heal him in time damn it i'm frozen once again no 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 freeze damn it i didn't want to freeze and of course i can't heal them while i'm can't use regrowth while I'm frozen. No, over here, over here. Don't attack my friends, attack me. Oh, okay, that was close. He almost got me. Whew. All right. Now I can unlock these chests. Solid bracers. Oh, I forgot about the solid stuff. The solid set I really like. All right, so that's the Yeti. Destroyed. And what else is down here? Yeah, I remember this area being, area being pretty big. So I'm just going to uncover this and then we'll head out of the ice cavern. So if anything interesting happens, I'll cut back. But otherwise, I will see you on the other side, everybody. Okay. We good. We good. We good. I can handle this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. I can do this. Oh, no. You bastards. You killed my friend. Oh, you almost killed me. Oh, you almost killed me. Okay, 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 okay. Freezing me in place. Okay, okay. That's a dick move, but whatever. Okay. So we leave this scary episode three. Why did you betray me, Anakin music behind and move on? Beautiful music. This is really starting to remind me of Breath of the Wild, the music. Hey, it's the old man. How do you see? Through the caves. Follow the blade. Beware, the master. You are more than you let on because you're talking the about the Telki. Runs ahead with tidings of destiny. The earth cried when that one passed. Now it laughs when you walk here. 
Beware the okay. master. You do not know him. Beware Are you talking about master. whoever is controlling the telekins or issuing orders to the telekins? Bye now. Bye now. Okay, so get this rebirth fountain and carry on. So now we are finally out of the ice caves. Looks like we're getting out of the mountains. We are heading down into the. Well, we're still in the mountains, but we're down out of the snowy part of the mountains. We're down to where my my Greek self can. Oh, a hero is where my Greekness is more uh, comfortable. Please don't kill me. I'm trapped and I cannot run away. All right, I'm leaving now. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. What's this cave? Neanderthal dwelling. Let's go into their dwelling and attack them in their own homes. Cause that's cool. That's not very cool. This is very uncool of me, but you know. They're going nuts and killing people, so... I don't really have a choice. Now have a choice! That's like, Rick's favorite thing to say in The Walking Dead. I don't have a choice! And he always says it like that. CHOICE! Hey, they're beds. Alright, puppos, you know what to do. Just go take massive dumps in all their beds. Oh, they took offense to that idea. They're attacking me now. Please don't shit in our beds! Well... I wasn't going to, my dogs were. I went into their home, I assaulted them all brutally, and now I'm gonna continue on. Jeez, is that another? That's another Neanderthal dwelling. Okay, let's repeat the process. Hello, I'm breaking and entering and attacking you inside your own home. This feels so bad. I feel like a horrible person right now, but if they would stick to their caves and just hunt the animals and not attack the people, it would be fine, but they're. They're venturing forth into the wilderness and hunting people and attacking caravans and getting things. So they're bad. Well, these guys even have a table and a bowl. Look how homely they are. Again, I feel bad about killing the saber lions, but... I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice! Yeah, this was a very small dwelling. The other guys had a bigger cave. Okay, so that's that cave, and there's the- is there another cave? There's another Neanderthal dwelling up ahead. Oh gosh! Gizzity Gorsh! Orkan Valley? Whoa, 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 Yes, you guys can all have autographs, just be patient. Twenty dollars a piece. Oh yeah, here we go, there's the jungle raptors. So we fought ice raptors earlier, now there's jungle raptors. I'm pretty sure the raptors are just all through the rest of this act, you'll find them. Okay, okay, just hold up one hot second. Can I command my people to go places? I can command them to go places! You click on them. Oh! Oh! They grr and growl when I click on them to do things. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute! Oh, I love having nature mastery with the wolves. Oh, god. Also, it's really nice having them because, like, we can go in here and, like, raise heck. There's, like, so many of us. Because there's, there's three or four of us running around here. So then it's not just, like, one person and I have to go around and clear everything out. Like, they often clear things out before I can even get there. Which is really nice. Then it's like we're a, we're a team. We're like a tactical unit. Primitive girl, girdle, primitive girl, primitive girdle of acuity. Um, I don't want a girdle, but could I get a griddle? Like a McGriddle? I would love a McGriddle right now. Sausage and egg and cheese. Fuck, I love those things. I'm on a diet, so I've lately been craving a lot of shit that I can't eat. Which is kind of funny because when I actually do, if I do actually break down and eat it, I don't feel good about it. Like. Not just in a, oh, I, I cheated on my diet, but just like, I feel gross. Once you go off a lot of that processed food for a while, you're eating a lot of like vegetables and like salads and fruits and stuff. And then you go back to the processed foods, you just, your insides feel bad. Like it's, it's just, and then you realize, oh God, I used to feel this way all the time. Like. And it just became the normal for me, so I never noticed, I never really realized that I felt like that. 
so yeah, we're, we're, we're cutting down on a lot of different kinds of foods. We're cutting down our portion sizes, and we've both definitely noticed a difference. Like, we feel better, we feel healthier, we have more energy, we're just generally in a better place. Oh, hey, another rebirth fountain. Ooh, ooh, okay, this is where you find one of my favorite enemies. I don't know how realistic this is. Ah, my eyelashes. Probably not a realistic enemy at all, because I don't think they exist in any form of mythology. Uh, but uh, coming up here are one of my favorite enemies, just because. I like them, they are beautiful. It is the tiger men! So like the jackalmen, or the ratmen, but they're tigers. There's orange ones and there's purple ones, or not purple ones, there's orange ones and there's black ones, which I think are more like panthers, but whatever. Um... <laughs> they're stronger, they're much, much stronger! And then there's the white ones, which are usually, or if not exclusively, the shamans. Black ones are usually the pack leaders. These are strong boys. Okay. Ah I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate this. I don't know what made you think I would appreciate this. Um, I think I'm going to... Wait, can I... No, I still can't. So I'm going to allocate this. That unlocks the next level of that, and... Ooh, it gets me close. I'm close to being able to use my... Spear. So, anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's so many of them, and they're all glowing, and I don't know why! Oh! Whoa, 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 yeah, these are the Yeren. Okay, so we're at the village of... Guanchong. Habba dabba do. And again, of course, there's not even any guarantee that the names of these villages and places are actually Mandarin. So I may be wildly mispronouncing these names because they're actually in a different language and I'm pronouncing them like Mandarin. So I apologize again. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I have in my hat? It's the Viney Growth. I only have one of that. I want more. I want more. Okay, that does not look like a natural cave. My map has that this marked as a natural cave. Oh, Ratmen! Great! I was just saying how much I haven't missed you! You fired! I need to watch A Bug's Life again. I think I have it, actually. I think I had bought a copy of it because I really wanted to watch it a while ago, and I think I actually bought one, so I think I have it. If so, I think that's my plan for this afternoon, is uh, Bug's Life. Whoa, I almost ran past this chest. Hey buddy, mind if I grab your chest? No? Then don't do it to women. I thought I smelled a rat. These, like, spires of obsidian, or whatever they are, are very common in areas where monsters have gone nuts. So I wonder, I wonder if that has something to do with the telekin and his, the spread of his powers. And also, they kind of whisper when you get close to them. I noticed that first in Egypt, I got really close to one and it was just like whispering. It was really creepy, but, you know. Oh, there's a quest giver over here. Hello, lady. Help! My daughter! She's trapped in the village! Help me! Alright, I'll help. Flesh render. Okay. Hello. Small child. My daughter! Alive! Oh, stranger! Thank you! Thank you! You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Anyway, just gonna make sure the... This area is uncovered, as well as it can be. Alright, let's get rid of these Yerens. Probably not how you pronounce it, but that's how I pronounced it my whole life playing this game, and I'm just kind of stuck. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Whoa, sorry. <coughs> Ugh, forgot to breathe for a second there. No wolves! Stop running ahead and getting ambushed by Yerens! Okay, we've arrived at the Great Wall, but I was distracted because my cat just snored so loud. I'm gonna try and get a video of this.
Okay, what's going on over here? Oh, these guys killed somebody. Cool. Hello. Hail, traveler. Wen Shong. Before you lies the great wall that shields our land from barbarian hordes. Excuse you? Our watchmen say they saw a fearsome creature armed with a curved blade leading the army. The worst of the monster plague had passed, we thought. But that was just the calm before the storm. The monstrous horde came upon us as if from nowhere. We were unprepared and lost many men. We have not yet. We have not yet. Well, I don't know why he suddenly just stopped talking halfway through that first little bit there. God damn it. I keep missing so many things because either I walk too far away or they just keep walking too Our far away. Our orders are to clear the wall, but these Peng aren't making it easy. A giant one has taken up by the guard tower over there. The men won't fight it. We'll just have to wait for reinforcements. Well, okay, he pronounced it Peng, but... It goes against how I've been taught the ENG is pronounced in Pinyin. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Whatever. We're on the Great Wall, though. This is one of my favorite parts of this game, is fighting along the Great Wall. So, either way, I'm happy to be here. Okay, 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 okay. So there is some weird shadow bugs on the ground here you can see. That's just because I had to turn the shadows down for to get the performance under control when I was first setting up this game for recording again before I recorded episode six. Um, oh, okay, you're a big boss thing. Okay, okay, Zhao the Colossal Ping is uh, causing me some problems. Okay, hi there. Hi. Hello, friend. Hi. Heal my friends there. He's not really doing a lot of damage, but... He's stunning me. Okay, he's doing more damage now. Gotcha. Little bitch. Hey, friend. You beat the giant Peng? I did. It brushed off a dozen of our best men like flies. Well, I thank you, warrior. It's because I am Please magnificent. Please word to the commander that we will soon have the wall cleared. Oh, a majestic chest. What's inside of you, my friend? Ceremonial buckler. I don't recall that one. Whoa. I don't know if it's as good as the one that I have. It looks real nice, though. Okay, so it has a better chance to block a higher percent of damage, but I like the elemental resistance and energy leech and... and the different retaliations that my other one can do. Oops, sorry. I'll hold on to it, but I don't think I'll use it yet. I do prefer what this shield does for me, so... God, the shadow effect is kind of messed with my eyes a little bit. It kind of looks like I'm looking at it through a screen door while I'm doing this. I wish I could turn up the shadow quality, but... Back when I was getting this all set up, I was testing with higher graphic settings and, and the performance the game just went through the floor so I just I don't want to play with it like I've got textures and everything set pretty high but shadow quality and reflection quality are both at like minimum I don't want to turn shadows off because that just wigs me out when nothing has a shadow okay whoa, whoa, whoa. okay 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 Jesus. I think this is the end of the Great Wall section, and we're into uh, the next village pretty soon, I think. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's all blocked up. So now we're done with the Great Wall. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, all good things have to come to an end eventually to make, to make way for other good things, so... I don't think I meant to say all good things. All things must end to make room for new and better things, is what I was trying to say. Is this the commander? The San... San... San province? So, see John's patrol is making progress. Excellent. I am glad to hear our men are handling things. Uh, 
Ooh, okay, so up here, coming up in this area, are some of my other favorite enemies in the game. I don't know if I'll see them over here, but they're kind of more toward the village. Oh, hi! Oh, these guys! Yeah, the Draconians! These are some- or Dragonians, sorry. These Dragonians are some of my favorite enemies in the game. They're like centaurs, but they're dragons. They're half dragon, half another dragon. <laughs> but they're cool. They're very cool, I like them, and they're gonna be pretty common throughout the rest of the game too, so... I'm happy about that. This is okay, this is fine. This- we're good, we're good. No worries. Thank you for... falling in battle. Here we go. A worm mage. Dragonian harness of survival. What do the Dragonian harnesses look like? Crap! I made a bad... I, I did a very big bad. Okay. Damn it. Now I have to fight with no armor. Until I can find a merchant. Or not a merchant, a caravan owner. Okay, that was stupid. Oh, that was really stupid. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot that... I can only wear that when I have the minus nine to percent. Oh crap! For all the requirements, and I and the only other thing I had like that was the that harness, the Dune Raider harness that I got rid of. <laughs> Shit! Oh, that was such a bad, dumb move. Oh, Laura, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Okay, well now I'm not wearing any armor. Let's at least get something on. Do I have any armor in there? No, so I'm just gonna have to wear this copper banded breastplate until I can get to a caravan and get my other armor back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh, okay, health regeneration and everything. Oh, that's so cool. And that's a sword. You know me and I, lo I love my swords. That's a cool looking sword. Oh, whoa. Broseph. Stop stunning me. I don't like it. It hurts my feelings. Village of Chidan. I'm I'm not entirely sure because there are some words um that I've encountered where the ZH makes a ch sound, and I've seen some where the ZH actually makes a like a z sound. So I'm I'm gonna have to be. I'm hoping I'm not too wrong about that. So I'm apologize if I am. We saw this Telkin you speak of. It carried a great sickle, and those cursed beasts thronged around it. We watched thronged. it come from the Great War and disappear into the Jingyong woods. In the direction of Chong'an. Chong'an is one of my favorite cities in this game. There's... You are taking the road. Ah, shit. God, why do I keep doing that? There is another old myth that this forest beast was once no more than a simple spider. Until it swallowed some item of great magic, which transformed it and gave it strength. They're running away and missing their conversation. Anyway, it, basically there's a big they say arachnos this beast boss. They a monstrous okay, man spider. Ancient and deadly. Yeah. Well, it's a lot better than that, so I'm gonna have to use that for now. God damn it, I can't believe I did that. I can't freaking believe I did that. Ah, a guest to our village. Lately, we've only had the rude kind. I mean, the monsters. Yeah, they're definitely the rudest of rude boys. Get that here. Alright. Now, is, is there a way up through here? Because there was a person and I couldn't see them to talk to them before, or is it over here? Ah, it's right here. This is where I talk to the wealthy villager. These are dangerous times, aren't they, warrior? Most of us dare not travel, even when we have great cause. No but way. one like you, you travel freely. Yes, I do. I do travel freely. You see, because I don't pay tolls. Of I kill value. the toll collectors. It rests in a cave deep in the Jinyong forest. <sighs> Although it is quite valuable, Jinyong. I would offer far more than it's worth. You see, that is how much I desire it. You desire it that much, huh? Deep in the cave. And sure, what is it? Monsters have swarmed there, but 
I think I have gold enough to make it worth the trouble. Well, you're gonna have to tell me what it is so I know what I'm looking for. I could just bring you back a rock. This trinket is deep in the cave. Well, fine. I guess it's one of those I'll know when I see it moments, right? Okay, so what do we have for side quests here? Soccer in the woods, which is an arachnos, and then this thing here. Item buried deep in a cave. So either way, it's in the forest in this next area. I do not see a caravan merchant here, so I just, I'm gonna have to live with this other breastplate until I can <sighs> get my other breastplate back. But anyway, that's gonna have to be in the next episode. I have run out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching Titan Quest. I'm hoping you're having as much fun here in Act 3 as I am, even though it's much more difficult, but that's just only adding to the fun, so I'm glad that that's happening. So anyway, I will see you all in the next part of Titan Quest. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye, guys! Thank you.